Thanksgiving. I am dressed as a pilgrim to be politically correct. And I also have shorts on because I filmed an eating show the other day and I realized I was flashing you guys the whole time. Um, I'm probably gonna be taking a break in about five minutes to pick up my pies, which are being delivered to me because I don't cook. Clearly. So if you are alone on Thanksgiving, I hope you will have your Thanksgiving dinner with me. Tons of restaurants have Thanksgiving meals that you can postmate, DoorDash, whatever the case may be, or you can just obviously go pick it up if you're not a lazy bitch like me and have a dinner with me. So I ordered enough food for all of us, but I will be eating it all. I don't like cranberry sauce, so I have cranberry juice as my drink of choice. I have fancy plates for the occasion. And let's just see what I ordered. I ordered so much food, I don't even remember everything I ordered and I'm gonna take this off because uh, it's restricting my chin and we all know the fat goes to the chin so we'll take that off for now but I thought I'd be a little festive and I dressed up a little bit for you guys so I hope you guys appreciate okay. these are the utensils oh my gosh I'm so excited I wonder if this is the turkey oh my gosh like the way they serve this though like legit thought there was three people I love it Oh my gosh, more turkey. This turkey looks so good. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put all the turkey on a plate. This is always so complicated, the eating process. Like, people think eating shows are so easy. No, they're not. Look at all these forks and knives they brought. As if I'm eating for 5,000 people. Like an actual Thanksgiving dinner. I love, I do love turkey at this time of year. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna just pretend like I made a turkey and I carved it and I'm just gonna like get rid of the evidence that over there <gasps> yes oh my gosh this looks like I cooked you guys oh I'm so proud of me for cooking a turkey and I only got white meat no dark meat for me and don't call me a racist just because I don't like dark meat I can already hear it now oh my gosh I gotta just try a little bit of this already I'm like oh oh my god wow that's actually really good turkey mmm so good. Mmm. Look at all this turkey, you guys. I don't know if there's turkey in here, too. Oh, there is. Mmm. I was gonna just do it and have it all set up fancy for you guys, but I'm like, no. They want the full Trish how I eat takeout experience. Sometimes I just eat out of these little, like, containers, but like I said, it's a special occasion, you guys, so. Get all the potatoes out. All the mac and cheese out. So delicious. Yum. Oh my God, there's turkey. I don't know why I don't like it touching. That's just obnoxious. All right. Ah! It's raining here in LA. And everyone's freaking out. Okay. Right. Are we recording? I was like, mm, hopefully we're recording. Guys, there's so much food. Who's that? A large mashed potato. Oh my gosh, look how big these mashed potatoes are. Are these all mashed potatoes? Oh. oh my god, they gave me more mac and cheese, you guys. So funny. Wow. I really wish you guys could all eat some of this with me. This is like a okay, and then they gave me rice. Oh my gosh. So yummy though. The food is literally never ending for this feast, but it is Thanksgiving and the pies are coming, so stick around for that. Let me make sure the pies are coming and not getting lost because it's complicated. Okay, they are coming. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited to eat all this. It's still warm from a place called Maggie's at the farmer's market. And I'm about to get to the story time in just a second. Thank God they gave me all these forks. Now I can scoop out this. Cause I do want to keep this. This is a nice container to keep it. Cause I will, I will heat this up. Oh, they didn't give me corn on the cob. Mm. Rude, I ordered corn. It's just not going to be the same without the corn, but whatever. Mm. These potatoes look so, so yummy. I love the containers they put them in. Okay. Yum. Keep that there. And then the rice. 
Oh my gosh, I love rice. Look at all this mac and cheese. <laughs> so much. I'm gonna actually keep the mac and cheese in the container because I have enough there to eat, I think. Don't we think so? I think so. Mm. Oh, there's little kernels in here. Okay. Ooh, it's spicy. I got some Spanish rice because, I don't know, it was available, so I got it. Yum. I love rice so much. I'm not a stuffing girl, so sorry for those of you who want to eat vicariously through me the stuffing. Never like stuffing, never like gravy, but I love turkey and potatoes. plates in front of me yum do another check of where she is just in case I need to pop up before I get real into this it says delivery now so it should be here very very soon I just don't know what to even start with you guys mmm I guess we'll start with some turkey even though I already had some that turkey's good it's gonna be good in the sandwich later on Mm. So yummy. Oh my god. Mm. This food makes me so happy. Who needs a family when you can eat food all by yourself and not share any of the leftovers? <laughs> mm. I should say what I'm thankful for before I get into story, story time. I'm thankful for all of you guys watching my videos. I really am. It's crazy that we have 2.5 million, over 2.5 million subscribers. Like, crazy. I don't know why you guys watch me, but I'm so thankful for you. Don't ever, ever, ever think otherwise. Mm. I swear, every morning I wake up and it feels like I'm living a dream. Like, every day. Like, this is so cool that I can do this. Like, for you guys, with you guys. It's so fun. I have cranberry juice actually mixed with vodka. <laughs> I don't just drink cranberry on the regular. I can put it on a little makeup for you guys. Sometimes I eat when I have no makeup on, but. Mm. Rice is actually a really good option. Mm. Okay. This is bringing back the memories of the story time so vividly. When we went to my pie skate here. But it'll uh, go on. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what you're thankful for this holiday season because Thanksgiving, you get thanks, we should get thanks all holiday season long. I am very thankful too, aside from you guys, that my family is happy, healthy, and we all can be together again, whether it be a FaceTime or whatever for the holidays. I never do that for a ever. Mmm. Mmm. The rain hasn't even stopped. This rice is so good. Mmm. Let me see if she's having trouble. Mmm. I love the post being put up my pies too. She looks like someone who would know pies. Like, in a, like not in a mean way, like in a good way. Like she looks like an older lady. Oh, like Brian one time. Sometimes you get those guy postmates going to the grocery store and they just don't even know anything. Mmm. This is so good. I should try one of these parsley potatoes. What is this like? It's like cheesy al gratin right now. Mmm. It's like a baked potato. It's pretty good though. Mmm. I do want some more rice and some more potatoes on mine. This is so good. Mm. I opened the door like this white one too. My first postmate was like laughing. I'm like, I'm filming a video. <laughs> I said we're filming a video, so it looked like I was eating with like other people. <laughs> Yum. Best part about living alone, you can drink out of your own juice bottles with your mouth. Nobody can tell you otherwise. 
Mm. Oh, hi, here. Hi. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You too. It's really complicated to get here. I know. That's all right. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys. The pies have also arrived from Ralph's. We have. Pumpkin pie. We have oh, apple pie, which I feel like you have to heat these up, but apple pie. And we have a blueberry pie. Okay, you guys, so I'm trying to pose the thumbnails. And none of these are quite working for me, so I'm gonna just go ahead with this pie real quick. So I can do the thumbnail and I'm gonna to have to take a big old bite of this because I feel like it'll be a better thumbnail, so. Maybe I should cut it first. Oh my gosh, this is always so much stress because I just wanna eat. We're getting this thumbnail low so I can show all this delicious food. Come on out, pie. Mm. Yeah. Oh man, the pie went in the rice. Oh, and the pie fell. Just bring it up with my hands. I'm gonna shop it in my mouth, guys. Ready? <laughs> okay. Oh my god. That pie is good. Mm. I'm gonna cover it. I even not heat it up that pumpkin pie. It is so good. Wow. I'm gonna just eat dessert first because that was amazing. Mm. Mmm. So good. Wow. That's from Ralph's. Three ninety nine. Mmm. I could eat pie all day. I'm gonna have these for breakfast. <laughs> I know I am tomorrow. Alright guys. No, I bet this is how you story time. Mmm. Wow, one of pie is amazing. I had it so long. Mmm. Oh good. Mmm. This all smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell it. It's so good. Alright. On average, I'm curious to know because my eating shows go anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. How often do you guys eat? Granny probably don't eat talk as much because when I'm eating alone, if I just do 15 minutes, I know this because I start a TV show and I usually go to about first commercial and then I'm done with my food. So I'm curious to know how fast you guys eat. Because I, I think 15 minutes is kind of fast, but maybe it isn't. Ah. Back to Maggie's. Mmm. Which is so good, by the way. So, so good. I eat it. I had a bite of this for the thumbnail too. Um. Uh, okay. Right. Story time. So this place, Maggie's, is at the farmer's market, which is near the Grove. It's like right beside the Grove here in LA. And it's really good. It's like a deli kind of style. You kind of, they make turkey and meat and rib and I think even ham. I don't like ham. But they make ham, and you can order sandwiches, you can order like slices of meat like this, and of course all the sides that you see here. And they do have like cranberry and stuffing and all that stuff. So you can basically get Thanksgiving meal all year round from this place, so I thought of it. Now, the person who took me here, his name was Al. Now, I think I talked about him maybe once or twice, definitely once in a Sugar Daddy video. 
my sugar daddy experience and he's popped just quite a few views for whatever reason and I never texted him never even kissed him but he would pay me to hang out with him basically which I never really needed money and I was never like first he wasn't even that rich to begin with but I didn't even know I didn't even know he was going to I met him through my neighbor who plays Superman on Hollywood Boulevard and when I say play, anyone can go put on a super costume and collect tips from tourists out there. They're like trashy. But he was that person out there and I used to do that with him. I used to stand out there. Well, this guy knew Superman for whatever reason because Superman was a little sketch and he knew everybody and got money from all these people. It was like a little bit of a shyster. Well, I met this guy through him. He took us out to lunch and because we were working in the boulevard, like tips, like taking pictures and getting a dollar from like tourists, take pictures. I was dressed as Supergirl. And he took us out to lunch. And after lunch, He gave us each a hundred dollars. Oh, he had a camera. I wanted to take pictures, and so he tipped us each a hundred dollars for like the pictures. So tip, because we were working on tips on the boulevard. So he tipped each of us. I was like, "Whoa, that's crazy!" And then Al got my number. He thought I was like really pretty. He always liked me. He always made it clear he had a crush on me. Um, you know, got my number. Um. First was like, why do you give us so much money? He's like, he always does. He's just that person. He lets take pictures, and he'll tip you for taking pictures. I'm like, that's cool. So I got a text message a couple days later from Al. It says he wants to take pictures of me, and will pay me for my time. So I'm thinking it's like modeling kind of pictures, or whatever. Never naked either, by the way. Never. As long I was a hoe, I was definitely a picky hoe. If I wasn't feeling it, like if I was so gross to have. Like, if I was going to be disgusted having sex with somebody, I wouldn't do it. And it's been in that situation where, like, somebody paid me or was going to pay me. And I just couldn't do it. Okay? Dancing and stripping is different, but sex, no. So, anyways. Long story short, we ended up going to the Grove all day. We ended up having breakfast at Johnny Rockers, which is no longer there. And then we went back to his house and he took pictures of me around his house. He took pictures of me at the Grove. At Venice Beach, like, we... It was a long, like, 12-hour day with him. And at the end of the day, we went back to Farmer's Market, and he loved this place. He was a bigger guy. He said he was a bodybuilder, but he was definitely just fat. Not a bodybuilder. Um, by the way, my final straws with him, too, were him talking about my weight and how I should lose weight, like, towards when he started getting comfortable with me. Like, I probably saw him for six to seven months. And once he started getting comfortable with me, he started telling me, like, if I lost weight, I would look like Pamela and I was like, bitch, no. And he was not, not to be mean or whatever. He was not, like, and I didn't attract him, nothing. Like, no. I was like, you're gonna tell me how to, to lose weight? Okay. <laughs> Keep in mind, I was actually like 25 pounds lighter back then. So anyways, so we went and we got, he got us a turkey plate and he knew I lived with my mom and my sister. Thank God I did at the time I and mean, I could always lie, but um, I know he always wanted to come up and I said, oh, my mom and my sister live up there. And so, um, he never came up. So that was good. But he um, would always get us turkey plates, and that was our tradition then. Every time I saw him, we would always go to farmer's market and get turkey plates. And we actually really liked that part. Because one, I didn't have to eat with him. Because eating with him, I know you guys are eating with me right now, and I love eating with people. I do. There's not one person I've ever been grossed out by eating, except for this guy. The way he would eat, also remember, keep in mind, he's like 300 pounds. He would wear overalls with no shirt. No shirt underneath, like just overall. So it was just, and they were down here, so his nipples would be out, his boobs would be out. Um, the way he ate was just a lot, and he was always really embarrassing. He would tell the waiters that he was a bodybuilder and he needed a lot of protein, but I wasn't, he didn't have any muscle. So, anyways, that's how I found out about this place. And to be honest, the days would be so long, I was always so happy to get home. And I would bring, he would get three plates for my mom, my sister, and me. And that was actually really nice. I mean, he was a nice guy, but sometimes. Sometimes he was really possessive and creepy. And I don't know, he got me. I always told him I didn't have a car. I'm not really sure why. I just always said I didn't have a car. Um, and one day he got me a triple A card. Oh, <laughs> uh, but I don't have a car, so why did he give me a triple A card? <laughs> He did. He had a van. A really one of those creepy ones, too. Um, 
I think he still is out on Hollywood Boulevard to this day. I gave a few more details of what he looks like and what he's doing today that you guys have said you spotted him on Hollywood Boulevard and some of you have tweeted me some photos and I'm like, oh my god. You know, I just wore a caution. He ended up not being a very nice guy. I ended up being very possessive and all that, but I'm just glad I'm not at that time in my life. But some days he would give me like, oh, that first day we hung out, that 12 hour day, so he did get a turkey, but I remember he also gave me $800. And to me, $800 was literally like two weeks pay because I was really working part time, so it was a lot. I, I really didn't need it, and so I kept con and continued to go out with him. I ended up getting my mom and my sister to go out like once or twice too. But the more comfortable he got, the less money I got. And sometimes I didn't get any money, so towards the end when he was being really possessive and mean and crazy and a little stalkerish, um, he, you know, he stopped paying me and then I was just like, okay, I'm done. And I ended up actually having to move to fully get away with him, so get away from him. So, there's that story. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited to have leftovers of this. So there's one thing I love leftovers. Like, I'll eat leftovers with Chinese. I'll eat leftovers with pizza, but thanks to me, dinner. Leftovers, oh my god, it's so good. I can't wait to do that in a sandwich later. But, mmm. Guys, this was good. I hope you guys ordered something yummy. This is the day to rest and eat. So I hope you're resting and eating and having fun watching YouTube videos. I was so excited about this, guys, and I kept it a secret. I don't know why I kept it a secret. I don't want Tony when I was doing this, I was like, Oh no! <laughs> All the competitor competitor eaters out there, not competitor eaters, my eating competition online. So many eating shows have popped up, huh? So many. That's 100 percent juice, but it says it has 110 calories per container. I love doing this with these big ones. 110 calories per container, 12 servings per container. So 100 no 110 calories per serving, and there's 12. Serving spur container, that's what I was reading. So, 100 times 12. Oh my god, is there 1,200 calories in this? There's more than that. Wow, there's more like 1,300 calories in this thing. I thought it was like real juice though. This is my substitute for cranberry sauce. I love cranberry juice. I can feel my vagina healing and getting better as we speak. I don't know if I should try one of these apple pies or blueberry. Blueberry pie is so good for breakfast. You guys never had blueberry pie for breakfast? You haven't lived. I went back from Quentin Tarantino movies. The little French girl in Pulp Fiction wanted to order a blueberry pie. So she had a little pot belly. And she thought pot bellies were sexy. And Bruce Willis said, if you had a pot belly, I'd punch you in it. So he punched me in pot belly. Part of me always knows that, or thinks that Quentin Tarantino secretly likes pot belly, so he wrote that in there. Which always made me thought we'd be soulmates because I always had a pot belly, even when I was like five years old to like, now, <laughs> mm. my pot belly's just grown. Oh my god, I actually can't stop eating this though. It's like so good. This rice is amazing. Mm. It tastes just the same too. I remember it tasting just like this. Mm. I get really into the sides. Like, I love turkey, but oh my god, the sides are so good too. Mm. All right, guys. I'm gonna try. Oh, that's easier. Seal that up. Yep. I'm actually gonna try a piece of apple pie. So I'm gonna go cut it. Oh my god, I don't wanna stop eating them. I have a problem with eating shows. It's like, ugh. I'm gonna eat some like stuff that I don't want. Okay, one more. Cause once I have a blueberry pie, I'm gonna try this apple pie. I'm gonna be good. Mmm, okay. I'm gonna cut a piece of refrigerator after opening. Maybe it's warm. No, I'm gonna wear it a bit. Yummy. All right, guys, I warmed up some pie, some apple pie. Why is it, Janet? Why is your apple pie don't taste so nice? And I did a little bit of a costume change, too. <laughs> guys, first bite is gonna be on the thumbnail, so. I don't know if this is gonna be the thumbnail or the one I posed for earlier, but 
We gotta do multiple ones. Ah! I fell. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh man. Fell in my Indian costume. Ma'am. Alright guys, while well, I'm here. <laughs> it's so good though. Mm. Okay guys, while I'm here, I'm gonna just finish out this eating show. This pie is so amazing. Mm. I warmed it up, this lattice is so good. Mm. And the crust, mm. I've had homemade apple pie, and mm. it is nowhere near this greatness. Oh my gosh. So good. The crust. Oh. Mm. I'm so good. I'm so good. You can always make your own. <laughs> mm. I hope you all have an amazing Thanksgiving. I hope you all. Enjoy eating with me and my costume change. <laughs> we well, can't see that much of my costume, but it's all good. Oh my god, it's so good. As always, I want to say hi to. Oh my god, there's like apple everywhere. Now it's in my hair. Is it in my hair? Okay. I want to say hi to the Native Americans. I am one tenth Cherokee, so you cannot say this cultural appropriation, but holiday attire, traditional garb, if you will. I have my cousins from Little Bay fishies. Bye guys, happy Thanksgiving. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm.